Hello hey everyone, my name is Sasha Luksanovic and I'm from Novi Sad, Serbia. Uh, today I would like to present you guys a mini language, uh, a mini language lecture from uh, my language which is Serbian. Uh, Serbian language is one of the oldest languages in the world, also in countries such as uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, even even in Macedonia, some part of Macedonia, you can hear a Serbian language. It's pretty similar to Serbian. Also, I know that uh, a lot of American people ask me like if he speaks the uh, same language as uh, Russians because it's kind of sounds similar, but we do not like. I can understand some words of the Russian uh, language, and they also can understand some words of Serbian, but it's not the same language at all. And also, uh, I will say. The only similarities is uh, in the accent. Accent is uh, like pretty similar to Russian. We, we call it Slovenian accent. In Serbia, we also have our uh, own writing system. I mean, which we call the Cyrillic. So it's Serbian alphabet, and it's pretty uh, simple actually because for each letter you have only one sound. So it's not like in uh, America for you guys. Like when you guys write the uh, J, you, it actually have like multiple sounds in Serbia. It's only like for each letter, it's one sound. So it's kind of more simple than English. I would attach a picture of the Cyrillic so you guys can see. It looks pretty weird, and uh, some of the words look similar to Eng English language, but like other words, I mean other letters are pretty like weird looking. And I'm not sure like if you guys are gonna be able to read it, especially like loud because like. Some of the letters such as uh, ch, j, sh, uh, j, I know that you guys uh, are not able to pronounce at least like so far what I heard from my like friends from United States or from other countries. It sounds kind of tough for you guys to pronounce it. So it depends, like for some people it's easier, from some people it's tougher, it just depends. For me personally, I really like to write and uh, read in uh, Cyrillic because especially like when I write, it looks like really nice and you can kind of play with the letters. You can make it like more interesting and uh, prettier, I should say. Uh, one of the funny facts I know about the Serbian language and the uh, only word that the uh, whole world is using it and it's coming from our language is a vampire, actually. Yeah, I was so surprised when I... Uh, Heard about that, and uh, yeah, that's the only word for Serbia language that is like universal for the whole world, pretty much. So while doing a research on my language, I actually found that the parent system of the language is a Greek alphabet, partly a Glagoric alphabet, which is like pretty old language, like coming from I, I know like a couple thousand years ago, probably. As I said, like some countries as uh, Croatia and Bosnia uh, speak Serbian. I mean, like they kind of don't want to admit that they speak Serbian because like our country are not in a like good relationships because of the war and everything happens. But like those countries speak Serbian's language as well. And like we can understand them all besides like some words, like some words are different and then like but basically like we can understand them everything they say and they can understand us pretty much which is like in my opinion that's like pretty cool like the being able to understand like people from other countries it's like good thing to know so right now i want to teach you guys how to say some uh, words and uh, sentences in serbian so in english you would say hello in serbia we would say zdravo or ciao, ciao at the same time can mean uh, bye or like hi or like see you. So whatever, ciao is coming actually from uh, Italian language. And I, I, I use ciao like pretty much every day. So, but besides that, yeah, you can also say zdravo or for like have a good day, you can say uh, vidimo se in my life dan, ostatak dana. So if you want to say to somebody, see you tomorrow, you can say uh, vidimo se. So it's like two words, vidimo se. Also, if you want to introduce yourself on Serbian, uh, for example, my name is, 
you can say ya which means i se zovem which means like my name is ya se zovem and then like whatever is your name so it's for example ya se zovem sasha also we use a slang serbian uh, language the same as you guys use it in uh, i mean english language so uh, one of the slangs we use is a uh, tebra which is the slang of brate which in english means uh, brother so the same as you guys like in hawaii say bra or like in united states say bro we say for brate which is brother we say tebra that's like the slang one of the slangs in our language in serbian language if you want to ask somebody how are you how are you doing you can just say simply uh, kako si it's two words kako si uh, to respond to that question and in english you would say i'm doing well i'm great or something like that in serbian you can say ja sam dobro and then ask the person how are you or like kako si so if you want to respond, I'm doing well, you can just say, Ja sam dobro. If you want to express your thankful to somebody, thankfulness, then you can just say, Hvala, which is one word, as you guys say, thank you. In Serbian language, we say, Hvala. There are also some words in Serbian language that we uh, stole it from English language, such as uh, sport, the same in Serbian, we say sport, or like training, we say training, which is pretty similar, just like with a different accent. So one of the funny word, uh, words we use in uh, Serbian, uh, we say drinčiti, drinčiti, uh, and then like this express the guy who works a lot, but for a really low income. So we usually say like, oh, this guy, Drinch a lot, drinchity a lot, if that makes sense. Also, one of the funny facts I want to mention is a Serbian sentence, which sounds, which has like four words, and all, all four words are the same. You would say, gore, 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 and believe it or not, this is a sentence, and then it means, up there the mountains burn wars. So it's four gore. We spell it as a G O R E. So gore, 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 gore. I think that's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> also, I think it would be pretty interesting to look in a Serbian uh, language, like uh, writing forms and everything, especially Cyrillic, because I don't think that you guys would be able to read uh, one single word. It's pretty tough to read if you're not like from Serbia or from like some of those countries, as uh, Croatia, Bosnia, or Macedonia or like Bulgaria and then yeah it looks pretty like to me it looks nice but like to you guys it probably looks like uh, pretty weird I know when I, I write something on Serbian and I, I ask my friends like to read it or like to look it up they always uh, make fun of that so yeah it's like really different yeah so here I wrote down some letters from Cyrillic which I think that you guys don't have, I mean, I know that you guys don't have in uh, English. So this is uh, CH, also this is uh, J, uh, SH, this is a uh, J, and then the last one is uh, this letter right here, which means, which we says as a uh, CH. Yeah, I think it will be pretty uh, interesting to look up for Serbian Cyrillic and then uh, to learn something new as well about like Serbian language. So for the end, I just want to say uh, ciao and hvala to everyone. And here is how we write it in Serbian. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to be like flipped on a camera, but yeah, ciao and hvala to everyone. Mahalo.